Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching CSS Positioning Lesson 6 and in this video I want to show you how to create content columns using floats. Wow. Alright then gang, so I wanted to show you one more practical example of where we'd use floats to get a different design result in our web pages. And this particular example is going to focus on creating columns of content and we see this all the time in web pages, right? So what I'm going to do is underneath this content div right here, and by the way, this content div, I've just removed the background color and I've set the margin to 20 pixels top and bottom and 1% left and right. That's the only change I've made from the end of the last video. Uh, so if you want to do that to catch up, feel free. Then what we're going to do is put some more content beneath this. So what I'm going to do is create a new div with a class of columns. And our columns are going to be within this div. So the first thing you want to do is create a section tag and then underneath that I'm going to create an aside tag just like that and these are two HTML5 uh, tags and I'm going to do a whole playlist on HTML5 in the future so stay tuned for that. Then within the section tag what I'm going to do is put a H2 first saying this is column 1 and then I'll put a P tag and then within that P tag I'm just going to put some of this, uh, some of this lorem ipsum. So I'll paste that in there. In fact, I'll do another one as well, another P tag, and paste again. Then down here in the aside, what I'm going to do is create a P tag, and in fact, a H2 first of all, saying this is column two. Then within the P tag, let's paste that lorem ipsum again. Then underneath that, I'm going to do an image tag, and we're going to use that cloud image that I used a couple of lessons ago. So we just need to write in cloud.jpg, and I'm going to set the width to be equal to 100% like that. And then that's gonna set that image to 100% width of whatever width this aside tag is. And currently that width is 100%. So the image is 100% of that. All right, so now what we wanna do is create two columns out of these. So instead of displaying them one on top of the other, have them left to right like that. So column one over here, column two over here. And this is a really popular technique on modern websites. So let's do that right now. The first thing we want to do is grab the section and the aside right here in our CSS. And then what we're going to do is float both of these to the left. And nothing has happened yet. And that's because they're still 100% in width because they're block level elements. They're still occupying the full space. So we need to explicitly give them a width. And I'm going to set the width of both of them to 46%. And now they go side by side. The reason I've done 46% and not 50% each is because I want to use the remaining 4% on each element to give it some margin and padding. So I'll set the padding to 1% all the way around and the margin to 1% all the way around as well. And now it just spaces them out a little bit. Finally, what I want to do is give it a background color of F2, F2, F2 which is a really light grey, you can probably just about see that there. And there we go guys, we have two columns of content. Dead simple to do, dead quick, and like I say, really popular on websites. It just makes reading the content a little bit more easier. Right, so I'm going to do one last thing, and this is the thing I showed you in the last lesson. We're going to clear these floats so that we can put more content underneath this without it affecting uh, the margin or anything like that. Okay, so what we need to do is find the containing element and that's why I put this div right here so we can clear it at the bottom using that after technique. So I'm going to grab this and go after that and say after. By the way guys, I did this in the last lesson in case you missed it. So if you want to re um, look at this into a little bit more depth, I suggest you go back to the last lesson and check that one out where we clear floats. So I'm just going to say display block uh, content is going to be an empty string and then finally we're going to say clear both. So now when we put content underneath these two it's going to resume normal document flow. All right. So that my friends is how we create columns of content using floats. If you have any questions whatsoever feel free to comment down below. Otherwise guys don't forget to subscribe, share and like and I'll see you in the very next video.